I read an article recently in Market Watch. Uh, it's called How the New Tax Law Creates a Perfect Storm for Roth IRA Conversions. The article says, Today's federal income tax rates might be the lowest you will see for the rest of your life. That's a pretty bold statement. And here's why. So Donald Trump may or may not be reelected in 2020. If he's not reelected in 2020 and the Democrats still control Congress at that time, there is a really good chance that the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act could be neutered or reversed altogether. And so it's a very critical window of time that you have in 2018 and 2019 to look at, seriously look at Roth conversions. Today's topic is a golden opportunity for Roth conversions. My name is Ashley Michike. I'm the CEO of True North Retirement Advisors, where we help business owners sell their businesses and transition successfully into retirement. A couple weeks ago, I was talking to a potential client and um, we were talking about all the tax changes that have happened in the last year with the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act and how that's going to impact their situation going forward. And what I realized in talking with this particular client is that there is this golden opportunity for Roth conversions in 2018 and 2019. Now the reason is is that taxes for a lot of people are going to be going down and so if now is an ideal time to look at making a Roth conversion because tax rates could be as as low as they're gonna be maybe in your lifetime okay here's why you would want to get as much into a Roth as you possibly can whether that's through contributions or in this case what we're talking about today which is converting your existing 401k or IRA balance to a Roth that money you'll pay taxes on the amount that you convert today but that money is not taxed again for the rest of your life. So in 10, 20 years, whenever you retire and you start drawing money out of your investments, say it's all in a Roth IRA at that time, you're gonna pay zero dollars in taxes on those distributions from your Roth IRA. On the other hand, if you maintain a traditional IRA or traditional 401k in your retirement years, that money that you take out for uh, income in retirement is gonna be taxed. And it's gonna be taxed at whatever your tax bracket is at that time. So if tax rates go up in the future, um, you know, you could be taxed at 30, 40%, depending on what tax rates look at in the future. The other reason why you would wanna get as much into a Roth as you possibly can is because that money, you're not going to be mandated to take out withdrawals from your Roth IRA when you turn 70 and a half. Uncle Sam forces you to start taking money out of your traditional IRA and 401k accounts at 70 and a half, with few exceptions, and pay taxes on that money that you take out. Not an ideal situation, so it makes a lot of sense to get as much money into the Roth as you possibly can. If you want to do a Roth conversion for the current calendar year, we're in 2018, that, that window of time is rapidly running out. You can only do a Roth conversion in the calendar year. So the deadline to do a conversion for 2018 is December 31st. And a really great strategy that works really well is, especially if you have a large balance in your IRA and you don't want to take the tax hit all in one year, you can spread it out over multiple years. So you can do some in 2018, some in 2019. If taxes remain low, ideally you could stretch it out for longer than that. But I would plan on if there's a specific amount, let's say you want to convert like $200,000 of your IRA and you can stomach the tax bite over a two to three year time period on that conversion, then that would be ideal, um, even though you can stretch it out for longer than that. 
The bottom line here with deciding on a conversion and whether or not it makes sense for you is to talk to your CPA. They're going to know your tax situation. They're going to help you determine what the tax bite is going to be this year and potentially next year for making a Roth conversion and they'll help you decide if it's the best fit or not. And a good competent CPA should be able to tell you relatively quickly um, what makes the most sense. So see, the, the, the challenge is figuring out, okay, what's the most I can convert to a Roth IRA without suffering massive uh, tax consequences and tax liability? Because you will pay taxes on the amount that you convert today. The beauty is those tax rates are lower than they have been in the past because of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, and there might be you know, a short window of opportunity to be able to do this. One other bonus point that I want to make here is uh, dispelling a very common myth. A lot of people who are uh, wealthy or have you know substantial assets or, or high incomes do not consider Roth conversions because they are mistakenly under the impression that they are not allowed to convert to an IRA because their income is too high not true. If your income is over a certain threshold, you cannot make a Roth contribution in your IRA, okay? But you could make a million dollars a year and convert whatever amount you want to a Roth IRA. Contributions are different than conversions. Conversion is taking an existing IRA balance and transferring that existing balance into a Roth. That's a conversion totally different than a contribution to an IRA, which is capped. Conversions, on the other hand, are not capped. They changed the rules on that a few years ago, and going forward for the foreseeable future, you know, until they change the rules again, that's gonna be the case. So, a very short window of time where you may not be able to do this anymore, so please take advantage and look seriously at a Roth conversion. Do you have questions about a Roth conversion? If you do, chances are somebody else probably has a similar question. So if you're watching on YouTube, please leave a comment, ask your question. I will respond to every single one, answer your question. In addition, please like and subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos almost every week and we'd love to have you back next time. Oh, so awkward. <laughs> uh, bleh, bleh. Okay, uh, so, so <laughs> Convert that Roth.